السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد نويت تعلم وتعليم وتذكر وتذكر والإفادة والاستفادة والحطة على تمسك بكتاب الله وسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم والدعاء إلى الهدى والدلالة على الخير ابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وطوابه Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we begin with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And then we ask that all praise uh, is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Allah of everything. And that Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then we made our intention to seek knowledge, which was to intend to learn, then teach others to benefit ourselves and benefit others, to remind ourselves and remind others. Um, to guide people to everything that is good and to do this all for the pleasure of Allah, the reward of Allah and the uh, proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This week we talked about two things that were very important. In the beginning of the week on, on Monday we talked about uh, friendship and the importance of friends and that friends should be able to support one another when the friend is with them and the one, when the friend is away from them. How do you support the friend when they're close to you? You do the things that you can physically for them, emotionally. Um, and when the friend is far away from you, how do you support them? You support them through your concern and through your dua. So for example, this week we had some students who were away for a day um, testing. And we had other students that were here at the center. So it was very important that we reminded the students that were here to support their friend who might be away. So you make a lot of du'a for people. This is how you support. This is the connection that a Muslim has with another Muslim, whether they're um, on top of a mountain or, or right next to them. That you should have a sincere concern, right? And the Prophet said, And then um, he asked them, the, the Sahaba asked to who? And then you know the categories of the people that they mentioned. But it's a sincere concern for one another. And so that's not just when the person is in front of you, when you can see them and remember them. It's when they're away from you as well. The Prophet ﷺ had sincere concern for people who were in front of him and people who were far away from him. One time he was sitting with his Sahaba, the men and the women, right? Sahaba is not just men. And he mentioned, um, he said that uh, he, it, it, it's, it, they were sitting together and he mentioned that they were his companions. And he mentioned also my brothers, right? and you can include in that my sisters. And they said, well, we're here with you. He said, no, my brothers and my sisters are those who will come after. right? So you are my companions, you're the ones who are with me, and my brother and sister are those who are going to come later. So he tells you that the Prophet ﷺ had a sincere concern for Muslims who were in front of him and those who were not even born yet, right? who were not even born yet, or who had not even become Muslim yet in faraway lands. right? It's a really interesting um, uh, interaction that the Prophet ﷺ had with the Sahaba. And it shows you that he was concerned about people. That was his whole life. He was just concerned about people. And so it's very important that you all begin to develop that here. That you have a sincere concern for one another. That you're very sensitive to one another. Right? And you're, you're concerned with what you're, uh, another person is dealing with. Right? And you do that primarily, primarily through your du'a, through your du'a. Right? It increases love for one another. It increases your reward. You know, increases the feelings that you have for one another, the care and the concern. All of those things come from your du'a for one another. The other things are on top of that are great, bringing a glass of water, helping somebody. But to care about somebody from your heart is even more important. Right? And this is what the Prophet Sam taught us. The other thing that we talked about this week was leadership. Yeah? And we talked about how leaders can be of different um, types. right? The one that's in front of you and speaking and leading, right? and the one who might be more quiet 
but is just as strong and just as capable, right? And uh, I was reminded today about the story of the um, the people of the cave, right? That in their in their story, and it's a surah that we should read every Friday. But in their story is a story about both uh, sincere concern and friendship and leadership, right? So you have these young men who came together on a sincere concern for one another and because of their sincere concern for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So that's how their, their friendship began. And then you also see in them qualities of leadership. In the, in the Quran, when you read their story, you don't hear them or see them giving like a big khutbah or a big speech or telling everybody, come, follow me, right? But they were the type of leader that stood by what was right, no matter what was going on. This is also leadership, right? To be able to stand by something that you know is true and correct and is ethical and moral and the right thing, even when everybody is doing the wrong thing. This is leadership. So they didn't have anybody following them. They didn't have anybody listening to them. But they were all leaders. They were all leaders. So it's a really interesting surah that you should read. It deals with young people. It deals with friendship. It deals with leadership. And those are two things that we talked about this week. And because it's Friday, it's actually something that we should remind each other about. And when you have an opportunity, read a couple of ayahs from Surah Al-Kahf. Right? They say at least the first ten ayahs. And if not, the last ten ayahs. And if you can do more than that, then that's good for you. Right? But in the surah that you're reading, try to pick up a translation and follow the story. And you'll see everything that we talked about this week. Sincere concern, friendship, and leadership. Yeah? And so may Allah make it easy for you to read that dua. And send also a lot of salawat on the Prophet which is something that we remind you about every day. It's a, it, that also increases your love for the Prophet ﷺ. It increases your sincere concern for the Prophet ﷺ. And you're only returning what he's already shown you, ﷺ. Right? He's already shown you a great deal of concern. He's, always re he's already remembered you plenty in his dua. So you're only returning a favor. You're only returning something that was already given to you. So, inshallah, Allah make it easy for you to remember these things and make you guys the examples for us. Inshallah, we're just trying to remind ourselves. So we're not um, speaking to you like we're some big scholar, but we're just trying to remind you and remind ourselves. And inshallah, one day you all will be better than us and you'll be reminding us, inshallah, in our old age. Okay, inshallah, Allah give you guys ease.